of South Carolina. We're talking about General Robert Caslin. Yeah, the decision comes after two weeks of opposition, even a court order to a proposed vote on the USC uh, next president. Our Georgia Reed Godfrey explains how today's vote is going over with students and faculty. Students, faculty, and alumni are chanting shame after the Board of Trustees moves forward with the vote for General Robert Caslin to become the next president of the University of South Carolina. Shame, 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 shame. The small crowd waiting outside of the University of South Carolina boardroom erupted in disappointment after the Board of Trustees voted yes to General Robert Caslin. The board met behind closed doors for two hours before making the motion to elect the new university president. The meeting is the second one called in two weeks after a meeting scheduled last Friday was stopped with a court order. We need more clarity on a clear election, a clear board process, a clear procedure for selecting the new president to lead us. There were 11 votes in favor of General Caslin. Eight board members voted no. One member voted present. A decision worth celebrating for some. He was superintendent of West Point. That is a big deal. Uh, some of our greatest leaders have been superintendents at West Point. Men like Douglas MacArthur, General Goodpaster, and others. So uh, that assignment doesn't go to just anybody. It goes to one of the top men in the Army, and he did a very credible job there. For others, it was a vote that moved them to tears. The University of South Carolina means a lot to me. Um, it's uh, the university I've thought about like my entire life. It's my um, like home state college. Um, I love Columbia. I love the city. It's beautiful. It's wonderful. And um, this vote makes me think that I honestly don't have a choice but to leave the University of South Carolina. General Caslin will start his new role as the University of South Carolina's president September 16th with an annual compensation package of $650,000. In Columbia, George Ray Godfrey, 7 News. Caslin will now be the 29th president of the university. The general served as the superintendent of West Point for several years before moving to Florida, where he worked at the University of Central Florida.